Hello guys, Mel here with Abstract Fitness. I have so many clients lately. They have called or sent me some emails because they have pain in their hips. So I give them some options. I always tell them, please go and buy yourself a foam motor. We're going to start with that. So I put them in order. So we're going to start with the blue. I'm going to go with the black. Then I'm going to use this one. And this is a special one that I really like. And then we can also use some balls. Okay. So I'm going to start right here with the blue one. It's softer. And as you can see, it's one piece. Some of them are two pieces. Don't buy that. It's going to get soft in no time. Just purchase the one piece. Okay. So what are you going to do? You're going to sit on it. I'm going to turn sideways because I think you're going to see me better. So for imagine, my pain is right here in this hip. And it's often in my left hip as well. So I'm going to be right here, and I want you to explore. You can keep both feet on the floor. You can put your hand. For some people, this is too hard on their shoulders. I'm going to give you an option here. And it's not everybody who can come right here on the floor, so I saw them right on the chair, okay? So I want you to explore. Find where you have tension in your glutes complex. I want you to turn. See, I'm right on my hip here. Now it's getting too hard for your wrist. Go on your forearm. You're going to have a bigger base of support. It's going to be easier as well for your wrist, but also your shoulder. So I want you to explore. Oh, I found tension. Stay there for 30 seconds. Okay? Try to stay nice and tall. I'm not rounding my shoulders. Shoulders are away from my ears. So I want you to explore the entire glutes here so you can even go up. And then I found tension. I'm going to stay there for another 30 seconds. You can turn more on your side. See, I have tension a little bit right here. I'm going to stay there again for 30 seconds, okay? And all the way down, because usually, oh, I have more here. There we go. So 30 seconds, okay? And then you can go, oh, another one here. <laughs> and then you can go all the way to the base right here. I'll come back. I have more videos for hamstrings and calves, okay? But I'm just going to explore the glutes complex here. Now you're more advanced. There we go. I want you to cross. This is my left leg. Left hip, I'm going to cross my left leg over. That can be harder for people. It's not everybody who have the flexibility here to do that. Just do your best or keep your leg down, and eventually you're going to be able to bring it up. Okay? Same thing, you're going to explore. You have tension there, stay there. Your wrist, your shoulder are getting tired. Go back right here on your forearm. Explore all the way from the top of your hip, lower back. You stop there. 30 seconds. And again, keep rolling. Find another spot. Stay there for 30 seconds. Okay, so I think you have the idea. And more you're going to bring your knee towards you, towards your chest, more you should feel attention. The blue foam roller is the easiest to start with. So that's the way I start with my clients. I've been doing it for a while, for years. So I use the black one, it's denser. It's more solid, but it's still, it's firm. And I like it. So my muscles are so used, for, so used to do it. So for me, they're going to release. That's where I can jump right away to my black one. And again, you can keep your feet down, find your tension. You can go on your forearm. And eventually, you can bend your knee here. And again, find your tension. See, I have one right there. So that's probably glutes, gluteus maximus. It can be your piriformis as well. Periformis is a very deep muscles attached to your bones, pelvis. There we go. And then you can go all the way up, find tension, stay for 30 seconds, and roll all the way. You can even go a little bit more on your hip. Okay? So this is what I do home. Okay. And then I have another one that I really like to use. That's another, it's not a foam motor, but it's another roller. And I like it because it can vibrate. So that means it's going to release a little bit quicker the fascia, the tension in your fascia, but also all in your muscles around the joints. So you're going to sit on it right here, and same thing. Same thing in the other foam motors. And you're going to stay there. Again, explore tension everywhere from the top of your hip all the way down, and also maybe a little bit more to the side of the hip. You can drop on your forearms for a bigger base of support. You can cross your leg eventually as well right here. 
and you can draw your knee closer to your chest. Stay there for 30 seconds. So I like using this one, but that's my way to go. That's another one I purchased a few years ago at my favorite fitness store. This is, I use it mostly for my hip flexors. That will be another video. But I can also use it because this is soft, it's not too hard, and I can use as well. It's gonna dig a little bit more right here in my glutes complex. And I really like this one. See, I have a spot right there. So 30 seconds, don't go anywhere, I'm gonna use you. There we go, right here, okay? And again, it's gonna be harder. I just need to cross the leg. You're gonna need a little bit more balance so you can keep your feet down. So that's another good option you can use. And then <laughs> I have this ball, same thing, I purchased a few years ago at my favorite fitness store. And again, it vibrates. So that means every time that it vibrates, it's gonna release a little bit quicker the muscles, okay? So put it right there, sit on it, explore your tension. It's smaller, it's gonna dig even more. And this one is hard, okay? So you don't start with a hard ball or a hard foam molar because first of all, you won't breathe and you won't release the tension. And if you can, cross the leg. <laughs> there we go, okay? So 30 seconds, every sore spot. And I want you to release the pain in your hip. And I want you to leave me some comments as well and tell me how you're doing. How's your hip? And I hope you're gonna have less pain as well. See you soon.